Howdy folks, it is Lanso90 here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Uh, last challenge was a really easy one. It was just kind of annoying because we couldn't pick up, or we could pick up items, but uh, there's no item rooms, and we couldn't get stat upgrades. But uh, it just starts you with a run that can beat the boss anyway, so it kind of didn't matter. Homing tears, technology, and a technology that I don't know what it is. You'll absolutely... Seems absolutely perfect to me. <laughs> Technology is a fantastic item. Homing Tears is a fantastic item. Two of Hearts, fantastic item. Tried to clear one out in time, but not quite good enough. All right, at least we can shoot poops again and stuff. Because <laughs> it's not going to take 10 years. This room is purpose-built for situations like this. Now this is pod racing. Open shop. Ooh, PhD is fantastic. Hmm. Want that PhD. Been getting good items in the first shop, which is kind of the worst place for the shop to be good. Oh, I don't like that situation right there. Can't hit him. Help me. Edmund. Bruh. <laughs> money. Oh, it's not money, dude. Bombs are sort of money, but they're also not really money. Don't. Why are you homing on the wrong target, man? You killed me. Okay. Can't believe it was homing on the wrong target. Tried to screw us over. One cent's not quite enough to cut it. Okay, the way the homing's working has actually kind of been frustrating. All right, bomb time. Spirit hearts. All right, all right. We got to try to find the secret room. We can technically bomb this doorway and get this bomb back. We got really lucky that that's the secret room. Hey, money. I mean, we got to fish for money. I don't think any of these can drop money, but... I mean, sound doesn't affect us. Luck up affects us. Puberty doesn't affect us. Shot speed down doesn't affect us. Lemon party's good. Is that the first or second secret room? I don't know how to tell the difference. Surely the secret rooms can't be adjacent, though. Hmm... Six cents, man. Famine. Don't think he's going to give us the six cents we need. PhD would have been a fantastic item. Although, eh, well, I guess tears upgrades would still help. And HP upgrades. It's great that we don't have to stand directly on track with him. All bandages, head back down. Again, this seems like another one that you can kind of just win based on the gear it gives you. Not quite as guaranteed as the last one. I don't know what this is going to do. It gave us tears upgrade, actually, which is great because it doesn't really matter what it does because homing tears makes it hit whatever we want to hit anyway. May even be better because it's wider area of destruction. Okay, I'm not as desperate to hit the pills anymore. Yeah, it seems quite a bit better to me. If anything, just for the rate of fire up. Okay, okay. Bottom there could be a secret room. No, it can't. I lied to you. I mean, just that rate of fire up. Might have just completely turned this into a one run. A bomb for a bunch of money is interesting. Let's see what's in the shop before we make that choice. Bogo. Is that Bogo bombs or just... I think we want that. Okay. 
can't remember what the other thing is that's extremely good. It's even better than BOGO bombs. Humbly bundle, yes, that's what we wanted. Makes it so basically every consumable is dropped in twos. I'm curious enough to do this. There's no item rooms we need keys for, so... I'm no longer interested in this room. <laughs> Can make a case for the magnet. In fact, let's see if it even works. It has a temporary use. Which is that. And then switch back to this because the rate of fire increase is actually really huge. That's in shots per second, so it's fires a quarter of a second faster. You might say, well, does that matter with the beam such as technology? Yes, it does. It's determines the uh, how fast the damage of it ticks. As you can see, that really destroys things. Range doesn't help. Luck might help, depending on what we find. Guppy's head. Yes. Because we need an active item. I could use the HP more, though, possibly. Because I'm bad at video games. They feel fast right now, but our speed's normal. Well, if we had keys, I would do that. If we had flight, I would do that. <laughs> That's a good point. That'd be a good room for magnet. But the rate of fire is too good. Like we haven't really had a upgrade to our shots other than this rate of fire from this trinkets. That kind of shows you how good it is. That is basically completely carried the front on its own. I don't know what some of our pills are. Okay, if I were a room of the secret variety, what would I do? I would not be next to the skinny rooms. I would be here. All right. I did my part. Let's move on. Kind of sp speed run to the floor. All right, now against the boss. Ah, freaking stuff there, man. Against the boss like Mega Fatty, these tears are suddenly not so great. Ooh. My bad. Kind of staying a little bit more on a diagonal from him. I don't know how much that matters, but... Mega Fatty, he's a tanky boss. He's a little bit more speed. Speed, underrated stat. Which one are you? Speed range up. Well, I asked for speed. Range doesn't do anything, but bad PhD is interesting. It'll tell us what the pills are, though, right? Oh, Ouija. That's Ouija board, though. Ouija board's good, isn't it? Or is that just spectral tears? Hold on. Glad I looked it up. Ouija board allows you to shoot through obstacles, which we can already do, so it'd be terrible. Well, bad PhD, though, is pretty interesting. I might need my health, but... Uh, what did you give us? I mean, experimental pill is not actually bad. Let's, uh... Let's pop it. Experimental pill. Tears down is not great, but it did give us damage. It might, it might even out, especially with the trinket, which gave us a free tears upgrade, sorta. 
Kind of, sort of, not really. No. Run. I'm surprised that actually didn't hurt us. Slightly less rate of fire. Arcade could actually be useful, but let's take a look at our shop first. Interesting. We're not going to the womb though, so. So a bad PhD lets you do is it lets you see pills, but all pills are bad. But every pill you take gives you a stat boost. You know what? It might have just been that experimental pill might not have been a uh tears down damage up. It might have just been tears down. And then the uh Why didn't we go in here? I did go in there. I just killed it so quick that I didn't even pay attention. <laughs> it might have been the bad PhD that gave us the damage up. Two of spades. You are... Keys? Two of spades. Good enough. Eh. I don't think Jar of Flies is better than Guppy's head necessarily. What else was in here though? Card and a pill. We know what the pill would be. Range down does not affect us, so we will pop it. Range for some extra damage. That's that's a really good trade. <laughs> 0.6 range for 0.6 damage. That's a good trade. I'm glad we bought that pill. Ooh. Crouching tiger hidden pin. All right. I do not want to get rid of my worm here. up and don't swallow the prize. Uh, let's go play the arcade or just see what's in there. Probably should have just seen what was in there for a penny before we left it behind. Just the blood bank. Mm. There's a heart. Eh, there is hearts on the floor. Oh, I'm out of bombs. We are Lamp out. oil. We're out of lamp oil, bombs? Thing, but we're out of bombs. Alright, we do have HP on the ground. I took it and threw it on the ground. I will play you. Take me to zero HP. Yes. It didn't used to not it used to not do that. But it do now. But it do. And then is that other heart two hearts? I think it is. Yes. Play it four more times. Be great if it would uh blow up and give us an HP upgrade. Money's great, Mom. Especially with a humbling bundle going on. Should get that bomb. Definitely a case to be made that magnet would have been better. I don't know though. The rate of fire up for free is hard to beat. Can we not get like super tanky enemies though? I guess it's going okay, but. It's not my favorite. I think we can step on the P. But I was too scared to step on it. <laughs> There's a range upgrade. Oh, your speed upgrade. 
We can settle for a speed upgrade. There might have been a tented rock in there. I didn't really check. Two of us got ranged beam weapons. <laughs> that knockback's getting kind of good, too. Ooh, spirit heart. Don't mind if I do. I mean, probably might as well pop the world here. Thank you for the bombs. I'll make immediate use of them. One up. I do not have Callist on this run. We can get it for a bomb. But I don't know if I want to trade a bomb for it, you know? One up isn't really an item to write home about. Okay, this is worth doing because there's a tinted rock and a destroyable chest there. I don't even know who you are. Oh no, that was really bad. Danger charge. Help. Something's alive in here. I would have liked these spikes to go away. Fishtail. Fishtail, I think, is an okay trinket, but I don't know enough about what it does to say that with 100% confidence. And the, the Wiggle Worm Man. Doing real, real big numbers for us. It's just a fantastic product. It'd be a nice room for a Hagalaz thing. Hagalaz would also be pretty decent in here for finding a crawl space. And in here, actually. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just gonna stay close to that embedded bomb there. Lots of places we can't get to, but that's okay. Shop. Nightlight, pretty decent. Bomb, pretty decent. Shot speed down will not do anything, so we can take it. Bad PhD was a fantastic item for us. I don't know how many hands there are, so I'm just going to keep moving like a shark. Uh, if I were a second secret room, I would be here. Nope. Adversary. Is dead. We'll take the HP. Krampus? No Krampus. Uh, the Pact, or the Mark, I'll take it. It's even a case to be made for taking that Guppy item. Do we have another Guppy item? No, that was the last run. We Oh, we do have one. Oh, well. The run's almost over. <laughs> In fact, this is the last floor. Now, Guppy actually would be good on this run, because we do have fast fire rate unlike the last one okay don't have a bomb my bad I'm surprised that did not blow up that last skull down there a key for a card that's good enough oh all right there is a tinted rock in here so I think I am gonna pop the tower even though it's a little scary worked out it didn't do anything really <laughs> gave me a bomb I can place on my own I think I did see another tinted rock when I was in here though didn't I yeah yeah, yeah. okay 
we got keys. It's one of the only things we do have because there's item rooms. Body Chad. Oof. That didn't go well for him at all. Or for these guys that spawned a little tiny spiders. Honestly, I don't think we care. <laughs> We've won. Could even take this to the dark room if we wanted to, but it's not necessary. In fact, it might even break the game. Maybe that was a, uh, a mimic chest up there. Golden key just in time for the end of the run. Well, I guess there's a shop here, so it's not totally wasted, but... I also got two keys on the room, so. And nine volt quick charger, I suppose. Why not? Come back in there in a moment. Change my mind. <laughs> we'll use our last bomb for that purpose, I believe. Go body bomb real quick. Attack quickly that time. Dang, she's going to town. Dang. I don't think I've seen her stomp that much without being like Red Mom. We actually made Bosch Rush. Uh, that's funny. That might be Infestation 2, which would actually kind of be worth doing, but... If we're in a normal run, but we're in a challenge run, so it doesn't matter. Robo Baby 2.0, I think, is actually bad. I think we prefer just regular Robo Baby, but we're actually out of time for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more. Until next time, hope you have a good day.